Hello students, welcome you to this video. So partial fraction already we studied first type and second type in my previous videos. So in this video I am going to teach you the third type. Listen, suppose the question is 7 plus x by 1 minus x into 1 plus x. Then you know this is of which type? This is a first type because denominator factorizable, right? Then second type you studied, suppose the whole square with the first one or with the second one, that is of the second type, right? But the third type is, suppose I am taking the square, uh, say inside, inside I am taking a square, suppose this is a question, 7 plus x by 1 plus x into 1 plus x square. So it is not factorizable. It is not linear factors, right? First one is linear factor, second one quadratic. You cannot factorize that. It is not the whole square also. If it is a whole square, then second type. Okay. But square is inside. So, but you check, can you factorize that square term, that one? Suppose in, the, in between the sign is minus, then you would have factorized, right? A square, one can be written as one square. A square minus B square, A plus B into A minus B. But here you cannot factorize that. Okay. So, this is of the third type. So this can be written as, first one is linear, so you write a by 1 plus x. Second one is a quadratic, so numerator you write a linear expression. Linear expression means a constant and x term. Okay? So already we used a, so I am writing bx plus c. Suppose if it comes the first, you write ax plus b. Okay? So now bx plus c by 1 plus x square. Now, usual method, you take LCM. So, left side you write as it is 7 plus x by 1 plus x into x, 1 plus x square. 1 plus x square is equal to, you take LCM here, what's LCM? 1 plus x into 1 plus x square. So, what do you get? A into 1 plus x square plus bx plus c into 1 plus x. So now in both the cases, you cancel the denominators and what expression you are getting? 7 plus x equal to a into 1 plus x square plus bx plus c into 1 plus x. So now we have to find that abc, so make the factors 1 by 1 0. But here you can see there is only one factor. What is that? 1 plus x, right? How can you make that 1 plus x 0? Put x equal to minus 1, right? So you give x equal to minus 1. Put x equal to minus 1. So the left side, for x you give minus 1. So 7 minus 1, 6. The right side, x you are giving minus 1. So minus 1 square, it is plus 1. 1 plus 1, 2, it is 2a. So a equal to 6 by 2, it is 3, right? So this is a value. No other factors, but still there are two unknowns. So what we do? Normally, we equate the coefficients of highest uh, power and the lowest power. Here, the highest power is x square. So, equating the coefficients of the highest power x square. And one more we need. So, we, we start with constant. If we get that, it will be easy. If not, we give some substitution. Okay. So, equate the coefficients of x square. Left side, still there is no coefficient left x square term. So, 0. Right side x square coefficient, first one a into x square, right? So the coefficient is a. The second one, after multiplication, when you multiply bx into x, bx into x, you will get x square, right? bx square, the coefficient is b. You know the value of a. I want b, so b is equal to minus a, so b equal to minus 3. Okay, a value, b value, got it. Now we equate the constants, see what are the constants? How can you find, take the constant, left side the constant is 7, so 7 equal to, right side the constant, the first one a into 1, constant into constant only, is a con you will get a constant, right? So a into 1, it is a, then in the second one, constant into constant, that is c into 1, c into 1, it is c, so plus c. So from here you can find c, or you say 7 equal to a value 3, 3 plus C, or C equal to 7 minus 3, the value is what? 4. So now all the values, you got it. So substitute in the first equation. So the answer is A by, A value 3 by 1 plus X, then plus BX plus C. So listen, A by 1 plus X, we substituted, then plus BX plus C, plus BX plus C, that you find separately and write. 
bx plus c. What is b value? Minus 3x plus c value 4. So better write the positive value first. So you can write it as 4 minus 3x by the denominator. What is the denominator? 1 plus x square, right? So 1 plus x square. So this is your final answer. So same type, I will teach you another question. Suppose the question is x minus 1 the whole square by x cube plus x. Always you check whether it is proper or improper. So here numerator degree 2, denominator degree 3. So it is proper fraction only. Suppose both are equal, it is improper. Okay. Or the numerator degree is more than the denominator, again improper. That I will teach in the next video, I will teach that one. Okay. So here, now which type? Totally there are three types. So denominator you have to factorize it. It is not factorized, so you take x common, right? So x minus 1 the whole square. You can take x outside, what do you get? x square plus 1. Now listen, denominator is x, okay, that is a linear one. Another one, x square plus 1, that is not linear, quadratic. It is not the whole square, so it is not of the second type, not of the first type, it is of the third type. You cannot factorize either, right? So you can write it as, so x minus 1 the whole square by x into x square plus 1. You can take it as a by x. For the next you write bx plus c, bx plus c divided by x square plus 1. So now we take LCM and cancel the denominator, you will get, I think you know that step, so I am leaving that step to you. x minus 1, the whole square is equal to a into x square plus 1 plus bx plus c into x. Now give some substitution, there is a factor x, so you can make it as 0, put x equal to 0. When you put x equal to 0, see what you get? Minus 1 square, 1 equal to, when you put x equal to 0, 1 in the a, it is a, the second will be 0, right? So one factor, you got it. Now normally what we do, equating the coefficients of highest power, here the highest power is x square, and constant also we take, but let us see. Um, if we equate the coefficient of x square, left side, when you expand, the first term will be x square, right? The coefficient is 1. Right side, the first term, a into x square, the coefficient of x square is a. And in the last one, bx into x. So when you multiply bx into x, you will get bx square, so the coefficient is b. So you are getting b equal to 1 minus a. That is 1 minus a value 1. So you are getting b equal to 0. a value 1, b equal to 0. Now to find c value, I said you can equate the constants. But you see, left side the first constant is 1 square, 1. Right side, a into 1, a. But in the second you won't get anything. So you will get only a equal to 1. That already got it. So in this question, don't equate with constant. You don't know, but you write equating constant, but you won't get. You will get only the value what you already got it. Okay, so, but we want C value. So you give some substitution. I am put x equal to 1. In that equation, wherever x comes, you put 1. So left side is here. Left side x, you put 1. 1 minus 1, this is 0, right? 0 square is 0 is equal to, when you put 1 here, 1 square is 1, so 1 plus 1, it is 2. So you are getting 2a. Then here, for x you give 1, you are getting b plus c. Okay, see, wherever x comes, you put 1. Substitute the known values, 0 is equal to a value 1, so 2 in 1, 2, b value 0, plus c. So you are getting c equal to minus 2. All the values you got it now, so substitute everything in the first equation. So your answer is first a by x. So what is a value here? a value 1, right? So 1 by x. bx plus c, b value 0. B value you are getting 0, right? So Bx plus C, B value 0. So only C by X square plus 1. C value minus 2. So minus 2 by X square plus 1. So this is the second question. I'll take you one more question so that you will be thorough with this type. I'm taking the third question. Suppose the question is X by X square plus 1 into X minus 1 into X plus 2. Little lengthy one, right? So, denominator, there are three factors. The last two linear. So, the, like first step, we can do that. But the first one is quadratic, but you cannot factorize. So, you write a linear expression for that, ax plus b. 
by x square plus 1. A and B we used next letter C. So you write C by x minus 1 plus D by x plus 2. So take it as equation number 1. After finding A, B, C and D, we have to substitute it here. Okay. So now you know we take LCM and uh, cancel the denominator. You will get X is equal to AX plus B into what is missing you write. So here what do you have? X square plus 1. So leave that X square plus 1 or write other 2. X minus 1 into X plus 2. Plus C into, what do you have in the denominator? X minus 1. Leave that. Write the other 2. Which 2? X square plus 1 into X plus 2. Plus D into, the denominator is X plus 2. Leave that. Write the other 2. X square plus 1 into X minus 1. Now you can see there are two factors we have here. So the first one is, say, X minus 1. You make that x minus 1, 0. So for that, what do you do? Put x equal to 1, right? So you put x equal to 1. When you put x equal to 1, 1 equal to the first term fully 0, last term also 0. Only the second one you'll get. So you will get uh, c into x you are giving 1, right? So 1 square is 1. 1 plus 1, 2 into 1 plus 2 is 3. So you are getting 6c equal to 1 or c equal to 1 by 6. Now another factor, x plus 2. How can you make x plus 2 0? Put x equal to minus 2. You put x equal to minus 2. When you put x equal to minus 2, left side is x. So far x we give minus 2. So minus 2 is equal to, the first term will be 0 because x plus 2, second term also 0. Only the last one you will get. So d into, you are giving minus 2, minus 2 square, 4, 4 plus 1, 5. So 5 into you are giving minus 2. So minus 2 minus 1. It is minus 3. So you are getting minus 15d equal to minus 2. Cancel minus on both sides. So d equal to 2 by 15. So two values you got it, right? Now and still another two more. For that usual method equating the coefficients of highest power. What is the highest power? Don't simply write x square. The previous sums are all x square. But here the highest power is x cube. Three factors. x into x into x, x cube. Coefficient of x cube. And the least one is constants. If you are not getting, you put, give them substitution. Okay. So left side there is no x cube. So 0 is equal to. Here see, in the right side, first one x into x into x. You will get x cube. The coefficient is a. Right. So you are getting a. In the second one, x square and x is x cube and outside you have c so you are getting plus c in the third one also x square and x is x cube so the coefficient is what d so substitute the known values you know the value of c and d okay so c and d you know so a equal to minus c minus d so what is minus c minus 1 by 6 minus d is 2 by 15. So you can take LCM as 30. So 36, 5 times, right? So minus 5, minus 2, 2, sir, 4. So you are getting A equal to minus 9 by 30 can be simplified. So A equal to minus 3 by 10. So three values you got it, right? So A value got it, C value, D value. So still we want B, right? Constants equate now. Left side, there is no constant, so 0. Right side, constant, how we get? Constant into constant into constant. So B into, because there are three factors. Every factor you take, only the constant multiply. So B into minus 1 into 2. So you are getting minus 2B. In the second one, constant is 1 into 2. It is 2 into C. So it is 2C. The last one, 1 into minus 1, so minus d. So substitute the known value c equal to minus 2 into b. We don't know. Plus 2 into c, 1 by 6, minus d value 2 by 15. So take that minus 2b to the left side, so 2b is equal to, here you cancel 2 and 6, 1 by 3, minus 2 by 15. You take 15 as LCM, so 3, 
5 times, so 5 minus 2, so you are getting 3 by 15. Cancel, you are getting 1 by 5. This is the value of 2b. So b equal to the 2 will go down, so 1 by 10. All the th values you got it now, substitute in the first equation. So you see what you, what's the equation here? ax plus b, so that ax plus b you find separately. What is ax plus b? Minus 3 by 10 in dx plus b value 1 by 10. So you simplify and substitute. 10 is LCM. So you are getting minus 3x plus 1. So you, or you write minus positive value first. 1 minus 3x by 10, right, into, so ax plus b by x square plus 1. So denominator you write x square plus 1. Plus c, what is c value you are getting here? c value is 1 by 6. So plus 1 by 6 into x minus 1 plus d value. What is d value here? d value is 2 by 15. So plus 2 by 15 into what's the denominator for the last one? x plus 2. So x plus 2. So just you substitute the values. So do it carefully, x plus 2. So hope you understood this type. So, but here square will be there, square will be inside. Also, you have to check whether you can factorize or not. So, if it is not factorizable, then this is of the third type. And one more thing I want to teach you, improper fraction. And there is some extra cases, some challenging questions that will teach you in my next video.